Welcome! This video demonstrates the usage of Prema Magica plugin. Plugin integrates Prema Shunt Unit Dimension Software Shunt Logic into Magica for Revit, allowing designers to include Shunt Units into their Magica for Revit project. This example project includes parking area and one floor. We will be adding four shunt units into the project. One is serving the fan coils in the parking area. Two are for the radiators in floor one. And the last one is for floor heating. For Magic at Project View, we can see that there is one primary system and four secondary systems defined. It is good to define those before the user inserts shunt unit into the project. The secondary system should be balanced in MagicAd before user installs the shunt unit. Yet, in this example, secondary and primary systems have already been created and all secondary systems have been balanced with Magic at Balancing. Inset operation is started from Prema Magic at Plugin ribbon panel. User is requested to select a primary system. Temperature difference in primary circuit is needed in shunt unit calculation. After that, the user is prompted to select the end of the secondary circuit pipes. Plug in reads the liquid flow and the pressure drop of the secondary circuit from the selected pipes. These values are required as input for calculation. Shunt logic calculation software opens. In Start tab, the user can fill in facility and project number fields. Next step is to select the product line and switching principle. Available options for product lines are Prema Block, Prema Block Green, and Prema Block Flex. In the parameter tab, the shunt unit is dimensioned. Notice that the primary system temperature, the secondary circuit temperature flow, and pressure drop fields are automatically filled with the values read from circuits in MagicAt project. The only missing input value at this point is the driving pressure from the main pump. Primary system must be completed in MagicAt with all the shunt units before exact driving pressure can be calculated in MagicAt for Revit. At this point, the user just needs to fill in some suggestive minimum driving pressure for the shunt unit. The calculation will be updated with accurate driving pressure value with update command which will be demonstrated later on in this video. Remember to fill in the user code for the shunt unit group before you run the calculations. Calculation results are for example liquid flow in primary circuits and pressure drop and KV values for control and balancing valves. In the fourth step, the user can make some configuration changes to the shunt unit, such as changing the pipe connection positions. The fifth step is for selecting the proper pump for the shunt unit. Unit can be inserted into MagicAd by clicking the Insert button. On the Documentation tab, the user can save the run as a Word file to get the technical specification. Now, the user proceeds by placing the shunt unit to wanted position and then connects it 
to the pipe work. Instead of starting another insert shunt unit operation, the user can choose to use the copy shunt operation. It allows the user to duplicate the existing shunt unit in the project. In the dialog, the user needs to select the secondary system and user code for the new copy. Calculation and dimensioning of the copied shunt can be handled with update command. Now all four shunt units have been added to the project and they are connected to the primary and secondary circuits. Next step is to run magic at balancing calculation. Balancing calculation gives now a warning for each shunt unit that they have an invalid valve GP. With MagicAd, you can highlight the shunt units that needs to be updated. Now, once the balancing calculation was run for a primary circuit, also the main pump driving pressure is available. And as you may remember, when we were at first inserting the unit from shunt logic, the only missing input value for complete calculation was the main pump's driving pressure at the shunt unit. Now that we have this information available, we can proceed by updating the calculation for all shunt units with one operation. Update command is started from Prema plugin ribbon panel. User is prompted to select the shunt units to be updated. Project view is opened in shunt logic. The user can recalculate all selected shunt units by clicking Perek Naom button. Recalculate all functionality is safe to be used only for updating the primary system driving pressure for the calculation. In other cases, for example, if the secondary circuit pressure drop has changed, the user should update shunt units one by one. In such case, the user can proceed by clicking Stack 3 button for each shunt unit. It may be that, for example, pump selection should be changed. Once the calculations are done, the user can send updated units back to MagicAd by clicking Update button. If we now run the balancing calculation again for all the systems, we can see that the calculation completes without any warnings. With MagicAd's Tag Tool feature, the user can easily add shunt unit related information to the project. For example, KV value of the balancing valve can be included. The shunt related information can be found in the Revit properties with MagicAd parameters. Technical data command allows the user to view technical details of the selected shunt unit. User guide with detailed instructions on how to use the plugin can be opened from the Prema MagicAd plugin ribbon panel. Thank you for watching the video.